How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a UAE IP address. Now there are multiple reasons you might want to be changing your IP address and you might be trying to get maybe some exclusive um, online markets. Maybe you're trying to get access to these markets, maybe get some discounts, some country exclusive discounts or maybe you're trying to access some um, maybe Netflix libraries possibly. Whatever your reason is, I have a suggestion for you guys. Now unfortunately um, I would be recommending these top tier VPNs such as Express and Nord, but in this case, they do not have a UAE account uh, or, or, or IP address. They don't have servers in the UAE, unfortunately. So these will not be available as a choice for you. Today I have Surfshark. Now that does not mean that Surfshark is uh, not a good VPN. It's a great VPN and I'll show you exactly why and how. Uh, may not be as quick as Nord or Express but is still a great great VPN and they have a UAE account uh, or server excuse me. Now the way you want to kind of confirm uh, that um, your IP is changing I have what is my IP address right here and it says that I'm in Tokyo Japan. Why? Because I'm connected to Tokyo, Japan right here in Surfshark and the process is fairly simple really. Now what you want to do, I'm, I'm just going to disconnect here from Japan. I'm going to go all the way down and pick the UAE. It should be, yeah, there it is. So United Arab Emirates, I'm going to connect to that. I'm using the WireGuard protocol. I'll explain kind of the uh, what's cool about Surfshark and why you might want to get it uh, besides the ability to get a UAP, UAE IP address. And now I'm going to refresh what is my IP address.com and it should change the country to UAE. There it is, Dubai. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. Now, you know, there are some exceptions. Let's say you are in the UAE and you're trying to get a UAE IP address for some reason, but let's say you are there, or if you're in any other country that has censorship or restrictive uh, virtual uh, laws that kind of restrict your virtual uh, or online activities. So as far as I know, UAE, the UAE has some pretty restrictive laws uh, that could, uh, I think there are some games that are banned there. Uh, you can't use Omegle there, for example. Um, there are many websites, just many things that are really just banned, outright banned in UAE. And uh, from what I know, using a VPN to kind of try to work around some of these restrictions might be also uh, kind of maybe frowned upon or, or, or I'm not sure if it's outright illegal, but I'm, I know that they don't like that. The authorities there or maybe your ISP won't like that. So you want to, you know, if you're using Surfshark and you're in the UAE, you want to make sure you have a few things on, okay, for top security. Now, um, clean web here, we have white lifter, which is split tunneling. That's not what we're talking about. The clean web, you know, you, you can keep that on. It'll block some ads here and there. So that's not so bad. Connectivity. Now, the kill switch is a must in this situation. Because when you're using a... Um, uh, when you're using your VPN, you're connected to the VPN servers, which is a different IP address. But if your VPN disconnects for whatever reason, you will be exposed. You'll be revert. You will revert back to the original servers if you're still connected to the um, uh, VP uh, uh, to the internet. So if you're still connected to the internet, you're gonna go back to your ISP servers, and they'll be they'll be able to monitor you. And if you're playing, I don't know. If you're playing a game that's banned there, you might, I guess, get in trouble or get a warning or a fine or whatever the penalty might be. I would really recommend that you check with your local laws. So I've turned on the kill switch and this will kind of, it, it disables my connection until I get my, um, until I turn on my VPN again. Okay, so now going to the advanced section, let's talk about the protocols. Now you can use automatic for sure. Um, if you're, um, like in a country that's not restrictive or anything like that and you're just trying to use uh, your VPN for very basic purposes like maybe accessing, uh, accessing foreign markets or uh, Netflix libraries, WireGuard is your best. It's the fastest and it's the best you want to go for. Now, 
if you are trying to hide your browser traffic specifically, let's say you're trying to use Omegle in a restrictive country, I would go with Shadow Socks. Shadow Socks is pretty much obfuscation, which will, it'll, it'll hide your, well, it'll mask your browser traffic only. You wanna keep that in mind, only your browser traffic. It'll mask your browser traffic so that it looks like any other traffic and it won't appear to your ISP as um, VPN traffic. So, you know, they, they won't uh, kind of get you in trouble there. So that's really good. Now, if you're also in a country where a VPN might be kind of, uh, uh, maybe VPN traffic is banned in the first place, you're gonna wanna use no borders mode. No borders mode will get you through firewalls, such as the Great Firewall of China, as you can see here. So maybe in the UAE, they have their own kind of, maybe a Great Firewall of the UAE or Dubai or something like that. You can turn this on and you will be able to get through that. Now, what I recommend if you're using no borders mode, what I would recommend is use OpenVPN UDP, which is going to be, or ICAF2, but I would recommend OpenVPN UDP because the um, the independent audits that uh, Surfshark allowed on their network, uh, it was through the OpenVPN UDP protocol, so it proved that it's actually pretty safe. And not just in Surfshark, um, well, actually, the independent audit that happened was on the uh, browser extensions of Surfshark, uh, which I assume they use a OpenVPN UDP protocol for, for that. But nonetheless, uh, Express and Nord did uh, have a lot of audits on their OpenVPN UDP and, and TCP, just OpenVPN in general, and it proved that it is one of the safest, if not the safest protocol. So you can kind of rest assured that this is definitely going to be a very safe protocol when using it. You don't have to worry about it. Now, of course, you can combine it with Shadow Socks. You can combine No Borders Mode with Shadow Socks in order to um, encrypt your browser traffic only. That'll that'll be encrypting only your browser traffic. But you can also use OpenVPN, so that's not really much of a problem. Um, and of course, if I didn't mention that, Shadow Socks, while it may only uh, hide your browser traffic on PC and Mac, on Android, Shadow Socks will actually hide all of your traffic. So that's pretty useful if um, that's something you are looking for. And another cool feature that you have with Surfshark is the speed test, which will allow you to kind of test uh, all the servers and find out which could be better for you in terms of ping, upload and download speed. So that'll be it for this tutorial. If you're interested in Surfshark, you'll find links in the description down below. I'll be sure to uh, find you guys some very good um, discounts that'll actually save you even more money. Uh, Surfshark is already cheap enough, but it, they're only cheap with the uh, with the two-year plan. You'll only get the, the big discount with the two-year plan. So hopefully, I'll be able to get you guys uh, maybe some more discounts with the first year, with a one-year plan, and, and so on and so forth. So if you enjoyed or learned something, please help us out by liking and subscribing. Comment below if you have any questions. And again, links will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.